guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I've been getting some comments and some questions lately about me integrating true crime with the bookbinding and crafts that I do on this channel. So I thought I would take the opportunity to discuss my theory about why I think true crime is so compelling, not just to me, but to a lot of people. For those of you that are not interested in true crime, you might find this interesting as well. Maybe it will offer some insight as to the mystery of why we are so fascinated with true crime. So if you will indulge me, buckle up buttercup, because I'm gonna talk about three real reasons why I think true crime is so compelling. If we take into account that history repeats itself, this might start to make a lot more sense. Thousands of years ago, without the luxury of news feeds and instant communication, people had to rely on either the written word or storytelling to relay information. And because a lot of accounts would happen under bizarre or mysterious circumstances, stories were often enhanced with the teller's perception of the facts. Maybe a little skewing of the details to highlight a hidden agenda, or maybe they created a fanciful solution for a mysterious event. Not sure why rain falls from the sky? We have a deity for that. In any case, stories were told, warnings were given, and lessons were learned. Fast forward to the present with our instant news feeds and scientists that can tell us where rain comes from and the ever present Google search. Storytelling has transformed from fairy tales and fables to TED Talks and podcasts. Nonetheless, the objectives remain. Tell me, why is it that you know to avoid gingerbread houses in the forest? Or that crying wolf will come back to bite you? Pun most certainly intended. It's in the same way that you've also learned not to accept rides from creepy men in windowless panel vans and not to take candy from strangers. Even though we have access to all this instant information, we still don't know a lot about human behavior. Couple that with a fear of the unknown and not being prepared and you've got yourself an endless supply of nightmare fuel. Speaking for myself, I am not drawn to true crime because of a preoccupation with the macabre. I come away with a sense of lessons learned. While listening to a true crime story, do you ever find yourself critiquing the responses and actions of the people in the story? It's like, oh my god, why did she run into the basement? Now she's trapped. I would have just dot 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 fill in the blank. So not only do we gain insight on the thoughts and intentions of the types of people that would prey on others, but we subconsciously hypothesize how we would react in that situation. I'm sure that most of you would agree with me when I say that I would rather learn a hard lesson by watching someone else's example than by experiencing the consequences for myself. And diving a little deeper, there may even be a moral of the story to be learned. I'd wager if Aesop were alive today, that he'd have a true crime podcast. Not many people would schedule a trip to a country they've never been to before that speaks a language that they don't understand and just say, yeah, you know, I don't need to do any research or make any plans. I'm just gonna, just gonna wing it. I'd be like, yeah, you go right ahead, buddy. Pardon me while I look up the exchange rates and download Babbel. I don't know about you, but I am a worrier, a fretter of unsettling situations. If I were to get a call from the doctor's office asking me to come in and discuss the latest test results, my brain would automatically jump to, yep, that's it, you're dying. <laughs> And I know some of you out there that would say, why are you getting yourself all upset over something that you have no idea? It's probably nothing. I'm like, thanks grandma. Fat chance. They may as well just tell me to stop breathing because that's not gonna happen, sister. I'd be like, oh, okay. Wow, I'm glad you told me because I was sitting here worrying for nothing. 
It's not like we invent these horrific outcomes in our heads to persecute ourselves. On the contrary, I think it alleviates some of that anxiety because we are preparing our brains for the worst case scenario so that if it happens, we've already gone over it in our heads and it's not like this big, huge shock. And true crime to me is just that. Considering the worst possible circumstances, the unimaginable, the unthinkable, and coming away feeling like I've learned from the either good or bad decisions made by those involved. Like a modern day cautionary tale that we can examine for the purpose of formulating precautionary measures, if that would ever happen to us. So the next time a friend or relative who would rather watch the Hallmark Channel gives you some grief about a true crime binge, Make a mental note for future reference that you may have to rescue them when they trap themselves in the basement. Well, that is it for me today. Thank you for hanging out with me, even though it was kind of short. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with my theory or don't agree with my theory, or maybe you have an idea of your own about why you think true crime is so compelling. I hope everybody has a great rest of your week. Stay safe out there, and I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.